Hello, fellow gamers. I'm Glory Hound, and today we have the lovely Dr. Glory Hound. You can't call yourself the lovely Dr. Glory Hog. I can I call, call myself you, whatever I want. I call you lovely Dr. Glory Hog. You just have to refer to yourself as the Dr. Glory Hog. Who's very lovely. <laughs> Got it. And hello to our chat today. It looks like we have Battle Cry in chat today. We are playing Meadows. This is by what Rebel Rebel Studios. Yeah, Rebel Studios. And I believe it's Asmonday that is doing the U.S. shipping on this. Like, because this is normally like a European game. I thought. What no, do you know? The English version is Rebel Studio. Where I'm you, pretty where sure you... Asmonday is doing the stuffs for this. No. No, Asmonday isn't. I remember them saying something about shipping and stuff like that in the U.S. I didn't see their name on anything. Never mind. Because I always Never look for mind. the English version whenever <laughs> I set I'm up wrong. the event, and it maybe was Rebel Studio. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You all can let me know in the comments below. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up, maybe like, or I guess thumbs up and like are the same thing. Why did I say that? This is going to be a very interesting stream, everyone. <laughs> Good, the cat's here. That's what's Hello, important. Hello, Glory Bomb. So... If you're new to the stream, make sure to subscribe. Maybe ring that bell to get notified whenever we go live so you can go ahead and hang out with us. Other than that, we shall get started. So Meadows is a tableau building game for the most part. It's pretty interesting. This is like super hotness right now on BGG. and Yeah, I mean, the like, reason why we, we got a copy of it was because we wanted to see why it has been on the, the hotness list on BGG. Just... Because I had not heard of it prior. Right. If, you, if you're if you able to go ahead and get something from the hotness list on BGG, you get it, right? No in matter what the game is, right? Yeah, in general, of course. You just make sure you get that game so you can play it and then figure out what the hotness is Supposedly, all about. Supposedly, this is, like, it's really <laughs> high up on Tom Vassell's list and everything, too. So it'll be interesting to see. But it didn't get a seal of approval, though, right? Well, that doesn't always happen Vice in the first Tower print Essentials. run. That doesn't always happen in the first print run because it has to exist before. How dare you? Yeah, it's a thing. I'm pretty sure this has been in the EU. Okay. And, Dr. Kenny, tell You know us what? Right after this, we will definitely go to BGG and look up all the things you said wrong <laughs> before this. It is Meadow by Rebel Studio. I already said that. You said Meadows. It's cool. We'll just do whatever. All right, Doctor. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the game? <laughs> All right, so essentially what we're doing in this game is we are trying to, we are like two different explorers trying to explore the wilderness and discover new creatures, new plants, maybe pick up some tools along the way. That's the general theme behind the game. I'm definitely the better explorer, though. Based off of all the exploring you've done? Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. some exploring. Mm -hmm. I've explored northern Arizona and okay. other places. Okay. <laughs> That's true. I've only explored across the ocean other countries. That's not fair. Just because you... Yeah, no, it's fine. The military sent you out there doesn't mean that you automatically get exploring rights. <laughs> you do. You do. That's exactly what that means. Overall, these cards are adorable, everyone. I also have new lighting in the studio, so Battlecry, how's the lighting? Everything looking good? Battlecry, like, just turn, like unsubscribes completely. <laughs> It's horrible. I hate it. I hate the new lighting. I, well, I know. I think Battlecry watches it on his TV, so I'm curious to know. And just so everybody knows, this is a should you play. So there's plenty of tutorials out there that you can check out. This is us inviting you to our game table to show you what the game is about so you can decide if this is something you want to add to your collection. So I start off, correct? Yeah. All right. So first things first, you've got these dual player, like you've got dual well, we'll purpose. we'll discuss them when we go through them. All right, well, I'm just going to go here. This is, a, this is a should you play, not a how to play, sir. Well, I was just going to say you've got dual purpose, that you can either use them here to collect cards or go over there. So you did it so you could do one card in this direction yes. here. Yes. Okay. And so I took this house one, which is, oh, wait, I can't take this house. Oh, gosh. I can pick oh, it up. Oh, gosh. Wait, I can pick it up. I just okay. can't play okay. it yet. Okay, oh, my gosh. Doctor. It needs more. Doctor. All right. We're good. <laughs> so you picked up a card, and then you put down a card into right, your tablet. Right, from my hand. Okay. I thought I so, could play that one right away. The houses are hard to come by, it seems like. So I, think I jumped the gun. I was I like, we like, got to play this house. Do that thing there, I think. And then I'm going to... Wait a second. Let me look at the other side. Okay, yeah. So when you put down one of these ones, you can take anything in this aisle here, just by putting in these slots here, or you could put it here and take any of these things or here. Or this here. So basically, you're going to go however many cards deep. into it. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather say just how many cards into it, not how many cards deep. Deep. <laughs> 
All right, good job. It looks good. It looks good, says Battlecry. I'm super excited because, yeah, it took me a few hours to get it all ready. So I think what I'm going to do is... She's been working on it for six days. 20 days. Mm, I want so many things right now. The Tis first round of the game? The problem. Hmm. Tis always the problem. I always want so many things. I want this one right here. This is the house. Houses are very important, among other things, among many other things. All right. But then this starts kind of limiting, like, these rows here, because you can't put anything else there, you know? Oh, and i got to put down a card, too. Right, yeah, there's a lot less options. I should probably put something down, like so. Ta-da! Look at my tableau's getting started off right. I have a little worm, a little tree. <gasps> Doctor is glowing. Doctor, you're positively glowing. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Look at. I can't look at myself because it's over there. So I can't see oh, how. Oh, well, look good into I the look. camera so everybody can see how beautiful you are today. <laughs> it's all for you. It's all for you out there. All you're right. Welcome. So, what I want to do is I can build off. So, I have a bug or I have a tree and I can build off of that and try to score some points. Or you so, have a tree and a bug. No, it's just the and way just I said it. just the bug and the tree. Yeah, the way you said it was very <laughs> weird. Please don't ever say it that way again. Technically, I mean, trees come before bugs, so I'm going to opt for the tree. They don't, and please don't ever, <laughs> ever bring that up again. I am going to go... I like how I have positively nothing in my hand that is helpful at this point. I'm going to go <laughs> over here, I think, like immediately. Oh, battle press swooning. Oh, what are you doing? So you're going to throw two cards down immediately because you're using the bottom part? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use this little blackbird here. It's going to eat the little beetle. And then I'm Great. going to take this wilderness area here and build a house mm, there. I think you're set up way better than I am. Just, just destroying nature. Part of the game. Set up way, way better at this point, I think. It's not good. That was it. That's all I had, though. I want all these things. All right. Like, I unlocked the house super early, which I don't think I had to do, but I kind of wanted to do. Right. Because it was just, like, no houses earlier. It was very hard to get a house. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. And this one here, I can use a, either any of the bottom powers or any of the top powers. I'm going to use this one here so I can have it as a one. And I'm immediately going to put that one out. Because I have no idea what I'm doing at this point, everyone. Interesting. No idea. All mm -hmm. right, so I'm going to go... It's not interesting. It's not Here, that interesting. I'm going to grab this one. Now, this one just says I have to put it to the left or the right of a house, correct? Right. So but it still has to be on some sort of ground. Right. Right. But that lets me go from this bird all the way over to this cute little mouse. He somehow attacks the bird and wins the fight. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're all battling each other. That's not how that works. No, this mouse attacked this raven works. and just killed it. I don't <laughs> think that's how that works. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this one here. One that just came out. Put that out, and I gotta put a card out. So I think I'm going to sing. Yeah. Beautiful music. I might go. You're done, right? Yeah, I'm done. So I'm gonna go here, which lets me take from anywhere. I'm gonna take this little guy. And I am going to play it because all I need to have is an a road. open road here. Yeah, pave the planet. Yes. <laughs> First thing you do in any survival game: knock down all the trees, tear up all the ground, plant Why stuff. Why is that such a make thing? A house. That's like such a. I don't know. I need all the resources. Okay. Every everybody. Oh does man, this. I needed that. That has a little bird on it. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this over here, like so. And as you can see, I've done absolutely nothing, everyone. Absolutely nothing. I can play something. I don't have anything to play, actually. So that's a weird, that was a weird move. So what are you going to do with your last move? <laughs> absolutely. I think I've told you already. You absolutely bunch, nothing. You built a bunch of base, though. You've got some base going. Absolutely nothing. I have nothing I can do. Is that your gnome voice? No, not quite. Not quite the gnome voice. I have a question for you. So if you have a card like this that says it wants to have 
this type of foliage and a tree. Could yeah. you use this for both? Could I not? use what? You you need both things. So you need a tree. Right. And this, you need that type of ground. This is both those things. Does that count for both? Yeah, I believe so. Because right. it's just the symbols. Cool, cool. I mean, I have a leaf thing here anyway. So, like, it's kind of a moot point. But <laughs> I was looking before I realized that. I was like, oh, I think that's a thing. Mm. Everyone, what am I even doing right now? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. I'm not really sure. I don't feel like all of my stuff is matching up the way I want it to at this point, you know? Because you're, these are like the things that you need to have in your tableau in order to put the card down. And then here's the little things that you have in your tableau along with the ground pieces. So, like, this has become very, very difficult. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've not been very successful at collecting the cards I need. Are you done yet? Or? No. <laughs> oh, my. No. Oh, my. She is still going, everybody. No, I am not. What are you doing? It's a secret at this point. Got it. All right. So you all get to go first. <gasps> oh, we take back our pieces here. We played this last time. It's really hard to keep track. or It's really hard to kind of know like who's doing well. So there's too many things that, like, I mean, I could sit there and count her whole board every single turn, but I'd that would be ridiculous. Because it's just two points, and that's not, that's not very good. <laughs> I only have three points. No, I have five points. Yeah. I actually, I am doing amazing. You are, like, super amazing right now. Our little explorer goes in. He's like, all right, we're going on this other stepping stone. Overall, this explorer, he does, he's, like, got very few places to go. Like, his rock hopping is not that far. It's because that's the guy from Tremors. So he's got a he's got a pole vault from rock to rock mm. to not get attacked by the graboids. Okay, this makes more sense now. Yeah, that's what's happening here. Yeah, this makes way more sense. All right, do I, I have anything out that I need? I do not. Okay, so I cannot do those things. I put that down, so I want to do that. Have you ever thought about uh, planning your he your turn ahead of time? I have not. No. <laughs> okay. I was just curious if that's something you've ever thought about doing before. Mm -mm. I'd, I'd prefer not to plan ahead, uh, Got actually. It. Yeah, I prefer not to. Messes things up in the long run. Well, you're doing a heck of a job. <laughs> I'm just going to collect every single type of thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can have up to ten of those. Oh, here we go. Asmundee USA will release Meadow, a set collection game by Rebel Studio, into the U.S. retail on July 23rd. Hmm. This box hmm. says Rebel Studio, and the version we have is hmm. the English version is still Rebel Studio. I'm I'll show saying. you on BGG. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> you did it. You super sleeped it. Oh, wait. I didn't it. want to. Okay, yeah. I, okay. Is it, is it your turn? Is it my turn? It's it my is turn. your turn okay. already. Already my turn. Still missing a thing. It's like one of those battles. I don't know if anybody actually won that battle. <laughs> because it, this still is made by Rebel Studio. Just the fact that they are distributing it. It's like Lucky Duck distributes a lot of stuff overseas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean they slap their logo on it. Just saying. <laughs> Lucky Duck is distributing game trays overseas. And they don't get to put Lucky Duck on the little clear plastic lids. Okay. So I'm just letting okay. you know. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Doctor. Do you All think right. people over in Germany are going to be like, oh, man, I really love these X-Trays by Lucky Duck Games? Definitely. That's on no. That's on them. No, they will not. All right. I would like better cards up here. Could you make something better come out, you think? Yes, in two turns. Okay. <laughs> in two more rounds, I should say. I'm like, I'm running out of room, everyone. I'm going to have to move my cards all crazy. All right. So what? No, wait. I don't want to put that one out yet. Keep messing up what I want to do here. So I have the little frog and that guy, and I'm going to put it on top of this one. Did you, did you get anything good out? No, I was waiting for you to finish your turn. Pick up this one. I'm going to play this one. There's your go. Please be something I want. And there was nothing I wanted. 
<laughs> Listen, first you got to plant some trees. That's step one. Why is this not going well? Like, this is going really, really poorly. Step two. Do not recommend. Very poor. Step two. I feel like I have some good cards in my hand, too, but, like, can't really use them, per se. I don't think they're that good, then. You, like, just can't use them. You know, call me crazy. <laughs> All right, let's do... This one, taking that for later. Hey, why did you say it that way? That was a That's very weird way That's how you have to say it. it. Like, loudly? Yeah. Taking that oh, for later. Oh, so you later. took the cards that I wanted right over there. Why do you have the cards that I want? I don't even know what you're talking about right Doctor. now. Doctor. It is your go. Dang it. Ergo, it is your go. All right, I'm taking more of these things. I'm taking some roads, okay? Dr. Crazy. No, doctors, I can't, I can't call him Dr. Crazy. Crazy is too good of a word. Um, ouch. Doctor steals my stuff. Seems unnecessary, but okay. It is. It is. You, knew, you knew what I wanted. So I'm going to get a flying squirrel and I'm going to put him like over here. He's very cute. <laughs> That's how you win this game, right? It's just by going by, by pure... By getting flying squirrels and stuff? Cuteness. Hmm. That little Tweety Bird's kind of cute on there. I think I'm going to take him. Even though I have no idea what I'm going to do with him. The grass is always greener. <laughs> How dare you call me out like that, Battle Cry? <laughs> Everything you have over there is so much better. Ooh. How dare you? I'm going to have to move some of my cards down here, everyone. I'm getting so many of the things. I don't know what you have, but I know I want it. It's basically her strategy. Pretty much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was that my last thing? Yeah. Jeez. I have to decide what I want to put down here. And this was our second round? We haven't done a third round yet, right? This Correct. Game. This was our right. second round. This game is going too fast. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. So I'm going to do this one, which wants you to have a tree and a house. It's got to be to the left of a house. And build that right there. So now I got myself a fence, too. You got yourself a tree and a fence? Tree and a fence. That's Aren't you special? Top priority. Aren't you special? All right, be ready? Pull back. My mom says I'm pretty special. Well, <laughs> that doesn't count. It does too. All right, this goes up like so. We get these back. This gets passed over like so. All right, if you could just please not take the stuff that I want, Doctor. Did you want that? Why are you like this? I don't even know what I'm like anymore. <laughs> All right, I need to catch up, everyone, okay? <laughs> it's never going to happen. No. All right, so I'm going to pick up this cute frog. Could you refill that for me, please? Cute frog. Cute frog. God, stat. And he God, can either go God. on another frog spot, which is weird. Oh, because he's actually a salamander. He can go onto another frog spot or onto a maggot. So I shall put him on the maggot. It is your turn. Okay. For the maggot. All right. Let me see what I got here. So you can get bonus points by matching up these things here, which is kind of important as you go along. Ah, it's not so important. It's kind of important. I think I'm going to put some cards down. So I need like a little scarab and a little wormy. So we're going to put that over here, I guess. Scarab and a worm. And we're going to go ahead and throw down one of these houses. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to throw down... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to throw down one of these. You're a little bit much sometimes. Like so. <laughs> wow. All right. 
This guy wants, oh, he, that's pretty interesting. So this snake over here wants a frog or a bug, a bird or a predator. He's just basically going to bite anything. <laughs> he does <laughs> He's not just biting care. biting all of the things, okay? He does not care. Listen. Do I want him, though? That is always the question. I do not think that I do. I think I'm just going to take this guy here and place him down. So my board is getting quite exponentially... It's getting larger. Let's just say it's getting larger. All right. I think Glory Hound is pretty special. Aww. Thank you. She's okay. Thank you, Glory Mom. <laughs> She's okay. Is it my turn? Uh, yes. All right, so I'm going to place up here so I can place two at once. And so I'm going to take this bird. This bird needs to go in a frog with two other animal types. So I'm going to put him way over here. So I'm already laying down a car, big old eagle. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop this butterfly over here. He needs to be on grass with a grass and a maggot. I have a grass maggot card over there. And that lets me put down this. This first two points to go in between the bird and the butterfly. The bird and the butterfly. Thank you very much. Hmm. And it is your turn. Not super happy about that. So we're going to place this over here. And we're going to do this action here. Oh, not that one. I want to pull on this one. So I take three, and then I get to choose one to keep, which I will choose that one to keep, and I'll put the others on the bottom. And then I'm also actually going to put out one of my little tokens here. Or which one? And I'm going to look specifically at your stuff. So just if you could just go ahead and uh, move your arm a little bit there. Okay, so. My arm is behind <laughs> all my cards. <laughs> I'm going to put it on this butterfly and this wolf, I think. Do you have the wolf? Right there. Oh, okay. You've got a second setup there. I was like, what? I was very confused. Like so. Yeah, the second setup there is pretty good. Oh, I see, because you're going to do the bird and the wolf also. Gotcha, gotcha. The little bird. All right, so that's my go? It is your go. I'm going to go ahead and take this snake, and the snake is just going to go ahead and attack this newt, and I got myself a rattlesnake, because he don't care. Or should I drop him down there? Now I'll keep my bug showing. Still keeping a, a frog up. That's dirty. <laughs> what, to keep my frog showing? Oh, Glory Mom says, actually, I think all of you are pretty special. Oh, I didn't, I haven't put down my last one. Okay. Sorry. I was somewhere and somewhere. <laughs> I think I was there and there. So I thought I was the last person to play that time. My bad. Hmm. I need to put a thing down so I can put a thing down. Um, ones that I want, I cannot get. Not really super excited about that. Doesn't I'm going go to go first next me time, then. At all. Yes, you are. I guess I will take this one here. Like so. Here's the thing, though. And I'm going to put one out. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and put one out. I have to put on that or that. Yeah, I gotta put on that. Reset. Yes, the reset is huge. Okay, so the reset this time doesn't even matter what's out. Right, that's why you're like, oh, am I, I get to go first? I'm like, yeah, but it's gonna be a reset. So it's gonna be a whole but new. But no, that's good because in the reset, then I things. get to pick everything. So whenever that happens, south switches out with north here, and we have north cards. Not I, north face cards, but just regular north ones. I do like that. That you finally get to like kind of switch everything which out. Which they are more intensive. They're much more intensive. Right. They're the end game. The last half of the game cards. You get a lot more of the, what are they called? The portrait cards. Oh, definitely. 
They're de well, they're higher in point totals and stuff too, you know? The, yes, the north ones, the, the middle two columns. All right, so the first thing, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here. I think I'm gonna play some cards, I think. Oh, no, not, that's not the play cards one. That's the play cards one. I'm gonna play some cards like so. What cards did I want to play? I think I want to play this one. So you got to flip over this road to show it's used. And then I have like a sweet little house here. It's super cute. And then I'm going to do, oh, before I forget, I'm also going to do this one here. So it is the little wolf and the bird. Like so. And then I'm going to put down... I guess this, oh yeah, this other house here, like so. Say, so, are you done? Yes. It kind of helps me to know what's even worthwhile. Yeah, worth going after on that part, right? Yeah, because I know you're going to grab the next one too, I'm sure. Seems like. Sure go. All right, so I think I had to go for this guy right here. Take one of these. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put him out as well. It's weird because, like, these things you build separately from each other, but they all kind of apply to each other. Hello, Nicholas. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. This game looks wonderful. Ha are you interested in getting it? Like, it was a surprise for me. I saw it on the hotness list, and I was like, what? I hadn't even heard of this game before. What is this business? I'm going to put this bird all the way down here. Doctor, I think you have to, like, get your cards in view so people can see them. But also There's not, There's no like, way for me to do that. Mess up your stuff. Right. If you can figure out a way for me to get all these cards, I'm, like, eight rows across <laughs> right now. So, kind of just going to be what it's going to be. Yeah, you can flip out another card here. Oh, I'm just yeah, yeah. looking to see what's useful. This bug seems less useful. So I'm going to cover up that bug. So I got a big old crow. And it is your turn. Oh my goodness. This is a mess. <laughs> what do I want to do? Okay, so can I do that one? No. Are you looking at my stuff right now? Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at my stuff? I'm looking at your tableau. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do that. All right, I think I'm going to put down two cards again and claim my last one so I can just, like, get that out of the way. Because then I can have those, I can cover those up, essentially, at that point, you know? Right. It doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, I don't know if I can even do that. Well, hold on. So if I do this here, then this I can put on over here. And then... Did you do the play two? Is that what you're doing with your wild, your question? Yeah, I'm doing play two. And then I can do this one here because I have the house and that. And this will be like so. I really like the ones that have the twos on them because that just means you get so much more, you know, out of it. Nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> no, the two symbols on top because you're getting more. It's like really smart to go for the two symboled ones because like they just, you can have that face up and that's going to account for more stuff as you go along. So I uh, would love to. I'd not, I'd not seen much about it, unlike Dice Tower's video, but now I'm really interested. I generally have to wait for sales. The secondhand market, so probably won't get it right away, but it's on my list. So you know what? The secondhand markets are awesome. We go to secondhand markets all the time, or we borrow games from people because, man, to be able to purchase every single board game, it's tough. Like, I just, it just doesn't, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. It's your turn. Let's see here. Do, do, do. I'm not doing. What'd you flip out? I just grabbed these. Oh, you just grabbed those. Okay. I need, like, some other things. Mm. 
like apparently some flowers. These are all about them flowers, right? Take one of those. Yeah, flip the new one out, please. And I don't think I can put another one out. Dang it. Hello, Scott. Silid? Slide. I'm not sure how to say your name. All right, so put that one out. Okay. My turn? Yes. This game goes too fast sometimes. Yeah, it's not meant to be a long game. It's all about your tableau building, like a little right? engine building kind of deal. Um, let's see here. I need... Like, I need a mushroom thingy, but I don't really have one. So, we'll take this one for now. And then, this one here is going to go on a tree. I have to have a fence and a tree. And then, it's going to go to the left or to the right of the tree, but on top of a ground. So, I will put it right here, because I don't know, I don't think I'm going to need that immediately. The one thing about this game I have to say is that I never feel like I have, there's not like such plentiful of symbols that I always feel like I can always get what I want. Like sometimes there's some symbols for some reason that just don't end up coming up. Like it's flowers this game. What was it last game? There was something else houses. last game. We, couldn't, we didn't find houses. houses forever. And so you had to change your entire game based off the fact that like houses just were not coming out for some reason. I don't know how the heck they did that in this game because they made like the resources hard to get but still every game is different so you don't know which resource is going to be hard to get. Guess I'll take that one. Let's see if there's anything I actually want to place. I could place this little guy that covers up my only tree. Do I want to cover up my only tree? Overall, I felt like though my last game I did much better. <laughs> I did much much better on the last game. The one, of course, that everybody can't see. I always do really good on that. Those ones, you know. You ready to pull back? Dun, 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 pulling back. And then I get to go first this time. I'm missing one of my little arrows. Oh, there it is. It'll be interesting to see, though, because I completely changed my strategy from last game. You want to move that guy over mm -hmm. one more? So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. So I'm going to go all the way up here and get this wolf. And this wolf needs another mammal, a tree, and then two of the leaf litter things, which I have. So I'm going to cover up this... Flying squirrel is going to get eaten by this wolf. <laughs> so rude. It's pretty common, actually. It happens so all the time. No. Five, six, seven, eight. That means I can get two more grounds total. Like, that's it. It's all of them. Did I put my mushroom down? I did put my mushroom down. I'm going to do that. And let's just put it right on there, like so. Oh, no, wait, that needs a whole new road. Bloop. My bad. Did you figure it out? I did. I did. I'm going to go... No, don't take all the stuff I need, doctor. Come on now. I'm going to take <laughs> that one, and I'm going to put it... Here. Oh, Nicholas says, really excited for the Merchant's Cove giveaway ending soon. Anyone here played? Well, we played it, absolutely. And I was, ex I was thinking about that the other day, too. I was like, oh, it's almost time to give stuff away. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. I will take that. I need that. Yeah, that was a really good one. Because you got the house and... Do you already have a house down? I do. Okay. Do you have an open house, though, that doesn't have berries on it? I mean, are the berries really that important? I, I guess not. I don't know. Not. I guess we'll find out. I guess not. <laughs> when you do your thing. I guess you decided they were not that important. I guess not. Is it my turn? No. Oh. Would you like for it to be my turn? 
I don't think so. I think that sounds Are horrible. you sure? Are you sure? I could make it my turn, like, really quickly. It would be very nice. These are kind of nice because they're just like, here's two points. Here, you want two points? Here you go. Let's take two points. I would like more points, too. If there you, you go. get me more points. No, I don't want that. Business is this. Hmm. What do you do there, click clack, lumberjack? Nothing good, that's for sure. Nothing good. All right, let's come up in here. Let's get this tree, I guess. I'll add their tree down there. Played the captain and not really sure how I ended up winning. Seems like the other players did way more on their turn. That stuff is really interesting because... In that game, you since you do your own engine, like your own different stuff that you're doing and you're building and everything, I like how it all consolidates it on the main board and everything. That's really cool. But you're right. Like as you're playing and stuff like that, you don't realize how you compare to the other players as you're going through it until like those and you're getting those end points, you know, because everything is different. But that's the really cool part about it because, you know, you're like, oh, man, like everybody has a chance to be in it to win it, you know? In it to win it. You heard it here first. Oh, gosh. In it to win it. Is it my turn? No, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I don't really want to dig, but I think I need There's to start digging doctor for me, stuff. Doctor me, doctor me, doctor. Yeah. You should have that. Things I want are not available. <laughs> I would also like things and stuff. If you could just direct me to the things and stuff, that would be excellent. I'd really appreciate that. Well, everything I want is just doesn't actually exist right now. <laughs> like, I'm looking for some very... Oops, that's too many cards. Everything I want to do is undoable. But that is a thing. That will work, I guess. Some secret stuff. You have, like, the, two of the things that I wanted to have. Oh, really? Yeah. Exactly as planned. Kind of. Kind of. Well, both the <laughs> berries and the flowers are heavy in the south deck. Yeah. But we already got rid of the south deck. So mm -hmm. they got one or two represented in all the other decks, but that's not enough oh, to really yeah. dig Oh, yeah, show for. everybody the little thing on the back so everybody can kind of see how that works. So if it's red, it's only got a few in there. If it's green, it could have five or more cards in there. So that's kind of what I was looking at, because I was looking for one of these two symbols here. Either one, but they're really all in the southern deck. And other than that, it's just a crapshoot. Who knows where it's going to be? So, like, me covering up that berry was more detrimental than I might have known before. Yeah, if you need a berry again later, you're not yeah. going to get it. Same thing with the flowers. There's just not gonna, There's a good chance we won't see another flower. And unfortunately, that's kind of like what's out right now, stuff that kind of wants that. Right. Is this what I want? I think, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my maximum. I can't pull any more cards. Or I can't do any more of those. All right. Are you done? Yes. Excellent. That one needs a frog and a bird and two of those. What Listen, I'm going to be he growing needs... up so many mushrooms up in here, everyone. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> All right, the toddler is asleep. I'm going to play patchwork with my wife. Enjoy the rest of your game and your evening. Oh, thank you so much. And enjoy patchwork. That's one of my all-time favorite games. It's so stinking good, Nicholas. I'll just take I wish I could get some of these like little bag things. There's like hardly any of them this time around. Which ones? The little bags that go on this, like the little. Oh yeah, where well, last time we that's like all we had things? in the very beginning. Yeah. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this over here. Kitty cat. All right. <gasps> that meow. was the last one. So we got one more round. That's it. One more round. We'll see where this goes. I thought I was doing pretty good, but now I'm not so sure. Really? Why is that? 
because I'm the things I'm looking for just don't they're Aren't just not up. out right now. Yeah, so that always becomes an issue, right? Where you're like, I want this thing, but it's just not out there. Mmm. Jeez. Okay, what could I actually do? Like, what could I put out? There's nothing you could put out. There's nothing I can put. Oh, thank you for that. It's all bad. Thank you for that. Okay, so we're going to need probably this one, I think. And do, do, do. No. Oh, sorry. This one. No. Okay. Can you actually play that one? It's impressive. I can, but I need the little roads for it, so. Should I, so I should block all three of those spots? No, basically? you shouldn't block all three of those spots. I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to cover up. Oh, I don't have any more little paw guys anymore. Hold on. Okay, I guess I can do it this way. Do you have any paws? Yeah, I had a bunch of them earlier, and now I just, I just don't. I figured it out, though. I'm missing, like, one key animal, and I can't get it. What's the key animal? Tell I'm me. I'm not telling you what it is. I will help you. you. You're not going to be helpful. I know you're not going to be helpful, okay? That's rude. It's not. It's just the truth. All right, we're going to get two of these suckers here. Some nice little roads. Some little roads. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about them roads. My go? I guess. I'm going to play this wolf. Or this cat is going to take out this mouse. And then this is going to go on one of my ones up there. Add some points to that one. It is your go. Okay. I'll take this fence right here, put one of those out, and then I will put this guy out right here. What was my score last time on this? 54 and I had 51. All right. I'm going to be really curious to know if I do better. Or worse. I feel like I've done worse. I'm going to actually go here. Take this one. Wow. That also blocks all the spots over there, which is what I was trying to do to prevent you from messing around over there. All the spots over where? All the spots around the camp, camp yard. Oh, you didn't want me messing around in the camp yard here? Yeah, just in case you wanted to do like a double play or any of that kind of stuff. Just got to shut that down. <laughs> got to shut that down. What? Too bad this is like can't get to that because that would have been something I needed at one point. That stupid flower. That flower. All right, so what can I actually do? Nothing. We can do nothing. That one's a bird, a bird. I could take... Mm, I don't know if you want to do that. He wants... I don't know if you want to do that. He wants a paw, <laughs> a bug, and a thing. Why, well, is that the one you want? Which one? You don't even know which one? <laughs> you just know that I shouldn't take it. Probably not. I feel very strongly that you should probably not take that one. This is weird. I don't have, like, resources for any of the things that I want right now. <laughs> right? Usually, like, that's not an issue. Right? But it is. I guess I'll just go here. What, what, which, uh, which of these little things do you have left? This one. The four? Yeah. I guess I'll just go here and take this little thing because it's still worth two points. Okay. And I will play this one over here for three points. Really kind of limits you to whatever's like on this this row over here or up at the top here. Right. Lucked out that that happened, huh? Not even going to use it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... 
So I'm going to place this one down instead. So it has to be uh, on the flower, right or left of the house. We're going to put it over here, I think, like so. Okay, so any card you have uh, left I in your still hand. Have oh, sorry. A thing? Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Gosh, just run me over. I will. So I I'm going to play this one here, and I'm going to get. Oh, I totally forgot you can discard two cards to make up to for make a symbol. To make up for one symbol, yeah. Did you do that this whole game? No. I mean, I remembered it, but I didn't do it. Because I, did, I didn't need to. I had all the symbols that I wanted. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this. So I have to have a house, right? And I can put this okay. to the left or right of the house. So I'm just going to drop this house right on that bird. I'm going to drop a well <laughs> right on the bird. Like the Wizard of Oz That or bird something. is gone. Dropped a well on him. All right. So I'm going to put up my cards that... This I is going to help you a lot, use. these points that you got here. Because I could never find berries. So I could, oh, I could never yeah. do the next one. Yeah. There's Berries never showed up the whole time, which is mm -hmm. what I was looking for, was berries. But berries and flowers were both in the south deck, and I never got access to flowers or to berries. And so I had like stuff just stuck in my hand. I'm like, well, oh, I will not be playing these. But yeah, I am done now. Okay. Just, you start so, scoring up your points. Yeah, what we end up doing is, at the end of the game... You basically just score up all your points that are on all of your cards here. They're in the little leaves right here. And then you also score up any points on this board here, which I'm going to have. You should probably score up yours, and then if you could score up mine. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just count them out for. Don't say it out loud. <laughs> and now for the quietest moment ever. As soon as you talk, I have to start over. I can't do it. Well, that's on you. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. You're counting. What number did you get? But notice that you're counting again. 32, 48, 41, 12. What'd you get? 51. Yeah, 47. Didn't I get 52 last time? No, once again, you got 54 and I got 51. Oh, okay. So you were within <laughs> three points. I did three points like worse and you did, I did like four points worse and you did like four point, three or four points worse this time. Yeah, that makes a big difference here because that would have caught it, caught me up to you. I would have oh, within getting a point. those points right here. You, but yeah, both since you got were two, like three. incredibly tight. Right, because you got nine points off of that, and I got two points off of that. That's yeah. pretty significant. Okay. And I totally did like did a whole different strategy this game. And <laughs> Battle Cry says, and a hush fall falls over or hush falls over the crowd. <sighs> so. In my first game, I was just kind of like picking stuff, and then I realized, you know, in this game that you kind of want to wait to for the bigger cards in the second round. Like, if you can plan some of your stuff in the first round and put out a bunch of lands, that's what I did. I put out a bunch of lands, and then I tried to go for, like, some of these to kind of get, like, the right symbols out that I needed and a couple of the harder ones here, and then I... Like, stalled. I stalled for the first half of the game, everybody. And just kind of tried to, like, collect these. And then the second half of the game, I just started collecting as many cards as I could. Because I knew that, overall, the second half of the game, the card totals were going to be more on this board. Doctor, did you have any advanced strategy tactics <laughs> that you want to talk about? <laughs> I had it set up so I could take those, but you were you, able to get the butterfly and the wolf first. These ones here? Yeah. yeah. And then I just never saw the berry again, so that just... I just waited because I had the bird too. I had both birds. So that berry, if I could have gotten the berry, would have allowed me to place my other two potentially. Was... I just needed that berry and I never saw the berry and I'm going to cry about it because that berry <laughs> shut me down. And then later in the game. The berry shut you down. That yeah. was it. It was the berry ruined your entire game. Entire game. Ruined the entire thing. It didn't ruin the entire game, but that plus not being able to get any of these flowers mm -hmm. means I had, like, I couldn't play this card. I couldn't play this card. I couldn't play three of the cards in my hand because I needed a flower. I just sat in my hand weeping because they needed a flower. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't give your significant other a flower. They die. That's it? That's slowly. it. They just weep. <laughs> it dies slowly. 
So well, I didn't, I went wider this time than I did last time, but I didn't go super wide. I went and got er points early on in the game, but I mean, I was getting three pointers pretty early on. I mean, I got this four point bird fairly quickly yeah. and stuff, so I didn't do a super long wait. I didn't get to actually maximize these because we didn't get as many of these little equipment things yeah, you can you, add on top. You get like equipment ones that you can add on top and I didn't, we didn't run into any of them this time. Like where are all of them? Like on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, I think it's really important realizing what's out, what you need to prioritize, and then going for that strategy. Right, they have enough symbols out in this. It's that, hard. Some yeah. symbols just won't show up. So, right, some went symbols are just going to be really, really hard to get, which go into other cards and stuff. So Because you had like what, one you're berry? You're limited. Did you have like one berry? One berry. Yeah, and then I see two flowers. There's a flower you got, and then mm -hmm. there's the other flower here. Mm -hmm. And that was it. So I wasn't able to get to those on the, at the right time. Right, so like really having more lands and trying to be able to keep some of those key things. And then you have cards like this that want two symbols of something that's harder to find. Those are tough to do. Like two birds? Heck no. That's not happening. Yeah, because we didn't see a lot of those birds either. Did you ever end up getting You got one of those birds and I got one of those birds. That was it. We would have had to join forces to I get that know eagle. That how many fountain. each thing is in this deck? Well, it's, it's listed here. All that stuff's at the beginning. For whatever reason, we didn't get enough of the beginning cards out. Maybe it's because we both went heavier into the lands instead of actually getting oh, the middle maybe. cards. Maybe. And so then a lot of stuff just didn't get flipped out because we didn't rotate through it. Because if, if you were doing this the whole time and you weren't getting anything from here, and then I also got a little bit more of this than I normally do, that means we didn't flip through a lot of these middle cards, which means that by the time round three came up or by the time the switchover happens, round four, we lost all access to those middle cards basically and then it was just really luck right. if they showed up because there's like two in this deck two in this deck two in this deck but they're like five plus in those decks so which that transition is really weird with the types of symbols that are coming out and what you're keeping like you really have to plan on what you want to keep you get more of your end game to go goal further stuff. yeah through the round and then yes the end game points Whenever. and stuff like that are super good here but man you really have to have planned for some of these you know making sure you have butterflies or the right type of lands and stuff like well, that. Well, it's also, like, right, I mean, you're, you're guessing, too, because you don't know which ones are going to flip out. You are. Like, you know? I wouldn't have known that I needed three of those. Like, three marshlands? Sure. I was running out of stuff. <laughs> so you did a good job. You did a good job. So that part, tight, Very, very tight games. Is this a game for you? I like the pictures on it. You like the pictures on yeah. it. <laughs> I liked being able to drop a well on top of a bird. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah, and then is... I got a snake bit a newt. That was also pretty sweet. And a cat ate a mouse. I do like all the murder. You like all the all the animal murder? Yeah, and I do very like, weird. Because... I do like whenever you have the rocky areas, I like that you get to slam a house down on there and just destroy the forest. It's very I do like that. weird because you are vegan, so I don't know why you like as much animal murder in this game. I like you... to think that they're fighting <laughs> and that this is nature deciding who's the strongest in front of our house or something. For me, with the the unique, I really, really like, let me, hold on, I'm sorry, we're, we're like going into this whole thing, because this is a very unique game that is here, because I really like this portion right here. Right, the dual use is really good. I really, really like these tiles, and how this is the used, it and kind how of, it's related to the board, and Right, then if you can figure here, out what your opponent wants, you can kind of try to block them off You and can, stuff. absolutely. And I like that you can either use it for drafting a card, or for using special abilities over there. But even over there, you can only do it so many times. Right, and even blocking them off, you have to, like, try to block them off from something. So you can, like, try to block off this row, and maybe here, hopefully, have it so they can't get it. But if they keep the right tile behind they can always, like, do a four from over here. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, you really have to be watching what people are putting down and what people want and are trying to get and what you have left in your hand. There was a couple times where I was like, all right, let's put these tiles aside because I know I need to do those things, and then I have these ones to actually work with here, you know? Like, there were several times in the game where I had to do that. Let's hear Battle Cross is murder! There was murder. Yeah, there yeah. was lots of murder. Lots of animal murder. And this is like a belt, I think. <laughs> I guess this is like if your kids are bad or something. I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening there. It's a strap. To Overall, a... though, this one didn't super hit home for me. Like, I was really excited to play it, and it's very cute and everything. But I don't know why it didn't. Maybe it plays better with more people. We've only played it two players. So let That's us true. know 
in the comments. What's a good Tableau builder? What's one of your favorite Tableau yes. builders? Is it Everdell or do you lean more towards something like a wonderful world or like what what's a tab tableau builder that you really enjoy that you think we would enjoy i think the big thing for me is that i just don't really like tableau builders that much so you like engine building i like engine building they're but not tableau almost building. the same they're thing not. they really are because <laughs> these are all just little cogs that let you get to the bigger cogs at the end no this is different than engine build engine building you can pick a few cards and put them together and you're like all right here's my engine and this engine runs that engine or you can like link those things together but this one here, you're getting rid of. So this one's closer to Everdell well. then, because Everdell is that tableau building where it's yeah. like, oh, if you've got the farm, then you can get the husband. Oh, if you got the husband, you can get the wife. Like, oh, if you've got this shop, but it has more engine building in it because whenever you place stuff, yeah. you can get resources to yeah. buy your next set of cards. Absolutely. Okay. So I don't know That's about. That's why you like that one more because it's got both in it. The straight tableau building. I don't know if I'm as, as excited about those particular types of games just in general for me, but. Let us know in the comments what your favorite is, and I'm going to go through the comments, and I'm going to see which ones I've actually tried and which ones, like, I need to try, because maybe I just haven't found the right tableau builder for me yet. So maybe that's what it is. Sure. <laughs> Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and perhaps subscribe. Maybe ring the bell to get notified whenever we go live so you can chat with us as we go along. And is there anything else, Doctor? Tomorrow's Kickstarter show? Tomorrow's a Kickstarter Tomorrow's show. Kickstarter show. And, oh, and we have Ankh coming in on Monday. So I'm pretty sure we're going to play Ankh next week. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to play. Like, I've been waiting for my Kickstarters to come in. It's been killing me, everyone. It's been killing me. Murder. <laughs>